right, so we're here at the Amsterdam airport. Huh? How you doing now? Uh, I haven't had any sleep, but nope. I'm better than I could be. Yeah. Yeah, I just ate some fruit and yep. some soda. No, some I had soda. some soda now. Some soda. But right now, I'm barely hanging on. I yeah. need to get in the plane so I can smash out for a couple hours. Yeah. We're heading to Munich. Yeah, and then... Play over in Copenhagen. Fest. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Hell yeah. Very good times. Cool. Yes. Still good times. Yes. It's not as energetic right now. <laughs> we'll come around later. Yeah, there you go. For sure. All right, so we're on layover in Copenhagen, Denmark. Where everything is on different currency. Either that or it would be really expensive. $24.95 for a bottle of water. Huh. Pretty interesting, though. That's the meatloaf sauce. Alright, so we're here. We have arrived. Munich, Germany. Munich. We got beer. We got meatloaf. I got pretzels. Fuzzy bubble water. He's got bubble water. Fuzzy bubble water. Because he's recovering. That's right. <laughs> I'm still on two hours of sleep. So yeah. Who cares? I got a second win. Gonna eat some food. Go hit our uh, hostel. I gotta do laundry. Laundry sucks. Yeah. But it's gotta be done. I didn't bring enough clothes. I brought more music equipment than I did clothes. So I gotta go uh, wash some stuff and get back or wherever we're going. Too much information. Yeah. Trying to figure it all out. Yeah, I'm still spinning a little bit. Yeah, but it's cool. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm really we're here. stoked. We're uh, going to be here for Oktoberfest. That was unexpected. It's supposed to be really cool. So you're about to see some really sick footage of some craziness here in Germany. Yep. Should be fun. Yeah. All right, so here we are in our hostel in Munich. We actually each got our own separate room this time, which has been nice. Uh, this has probably been the nicest one that we've stayed at so far. But this is a room. It's kind of small, not a lot to it. It's a shared bathroom thing down the hall, which isn't bad. I've been getting used to. But uh, this is basically the room. Jameson's in the other one over there. So. Hi. All right, first day in Munich. Hey, how are you? Again. <laughs> that camera. Documentary. Uh, well, we haven't seen anything yet. We just woke up and had breakfast. Some cool ass uh, buildings around here. We have no idea what we're doing. Nope. We've been kind of like this the whole trip. But we're winging we've it. We've always had a good time. So, uh, I guess we're going to do a walking tour. Yep. And then after that, who knows what. we got to find a venue to play around here. That's our mission. We're getting low on funds, so i got to make some money. All right, here we are, top of the clock tower. Yeah. Unbeat. We just walked up 13 stairs <laughs> like this. The ang incline is like that, I swear. It's like a stair stepper. But we're here on top. And we paid $1.50 to do it. Yeah. But it is a good view up here. Yeah, it is. This is the city of Munich. I had a, started a roofing company about 30 years ago. And uh, every roof that you see with orange on top, that's the one we did. Yeah, so. exactly. We've uh, definitely left a mark here in Germany, <laughs> if you can see <laughs> over here. <laughs> Watch out behind you. Uh, Glockenspiel is going off. Time to make the donuts. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So behind me here we got this big cuckoo clock. Get a shot of that, Jay. This is the Glockenspiel. It's massive. Beautiful building. You can uh, pan over to the right over there and take a look at that. Um, and then get the Tower of Mary as well. That's wonderful. I know you can get a 360 panoramic. Yeah, definitely. We're sort of in the square here. It's super sunny. Hopefully this comes out. We're doing a 
free tour here. They have these tour guides that they give free tours and they work on tips alone. And they probably make a great living because they're very informative. And uh, I mean, you could probably pay for a tour and it would cost you 20 bucks uh, to get one like this. So it's, uh, definitely these guys are making a good living. But it's this guy over here. Take a look at him. He's about, to, he's about to show us around a little bit. And uh, we did this in Paris. It was a great tour. It was very informative. Yeah, we did it in, where else did we go? Well, Amsterdam, uh, too. Didn't we? Yeah. Well, we didn't do the free tour in Amsterdam. Oh, okay. I, we did the boat tour in Amsterdam. That's right. But here, these are they're really great. I mean, he'll, he'll go into details about a lot of stuff that you wouldn't know just by looking at something. And uh, so we'll try to get some clips from the tour here when we can about being rude. And uh, I'll show you a little bit about Germany. It should be fun. It actually starts with bells are going on. They are playing. They are really out of tune, okay? So somebody who understands music, he will actually be like this. Okay. <laughs> um, out of tune, bells are playing. And then scene number one starts. It's a scene on the second floor. Um, what happens there? It's a marriage. It's a marriage of Wilhelm V. Please keep it in mind because he's a guy who bankrupted Bavaria and will come to him later, okay? <laughs> Wilhelm V getting married with his wife. <coughs> his wife did come from that time it was ruled by Aus the Austrians, okay? Now it's in France, so it's the Austrian and Bavarian flags up there. What happens here? The main theme is actually um, two knights riding against each other. It's called jousting. Do you know what jousting is? Okay, if not, you'll see it soon. I just need a short introduction to my two knights. Okay, come on, guys. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, here comes what happens in scene number one. Bells are beginning to play. Willem V is getting happily married. And now our two knights are coming towards each other. They are riding against each other. And oh, they miss each other. Oh, I forgot something, ladies and gentlemen. I have to introduce our knights. This here is our Austrian knight. Please give a big hand to our Austrian Yay! knight. Thank you very much. Yay! Here on this side, ladies and gentlemen, we have got the Bavarian knight. Okay? Yeah! You see the first time they missed each other. But what happens now? Who will win? Make up your mind. As the Austrian or the Bavarian knight wins. And start, ladies and gentlemen, go! <laughs> oh, 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 the Bavarian knight <laughs> wins this fight ever since the Glockenspiel has been there. Thank you very much. Once again, a big hand to them. Okay. Good job, good job. Now nice. you have seen that one. Okay. This is the devil's footprint. They say. Yeah, this is going inside the church. Here we go. All right, he's the Many tourist guys show the people who have gotten like this here. Um, our next stop will be around here. And I'll tell you something about post-World War Number 1, okay? Why post-World War Number 1? Because if you come here, I'll explain you how Hitler, Adolf Hitler, entered the political scene for its first time in a very big way, okay? So this will be down here. Um, <laughs> it's a monument to Michael Jackson. <laughs> and this is like a living memorial, okay? It's like normally on sunny days, especially on Saturdays and Sundays, got people here, they are, uh, got benches, got Michael Jackson music playing on and on, candles are lit in here, heart shaped, so um, still people come here and bring stuff to, because they are big fans of Michael Jackson. Why does it stand here? This guy up there, his name is Alain de Lasso, okay? He was actually the pop star of the 16th century here in Munich. He was really famous and quite good composer we had here in Munich. Another thing, the Bayerische Hof, that's where Michael Jackson stayed when he was here in Munich. Okay? Take a picture if you like.